So we've arrived in Nakhon Sawan. We're heading to Bangkok to sort out some documents at the Australian Embassy to get married. But we've decided to um, stop here at a restaurant that Anne found on TikTok just to try the food. Apparently it's some sort of cafe, Thai cafe. But let's check out where we are. So, oh yeah, it's right on the river. So this is where we are in Nakhon Sawan. So we're gonna walk down, see if we can find the stairs going down to it. If it's open, it looks open, don't know. <laughs> it's trying to find our way down to it is the question. Let's see if it's actually, is operating. Or is it quiet? Oh yeah, there's the walkway to go to this place. Looks like there's a few little cafes on the water here. So here's the name of this place in Nakhon Sawan. Cafe and restaurant. It's like Nava or something. Hard to know. But let's go in. It's way on the water. At least it's under shade. Floating restaurant. Looks like a whole bunch of floating restaurants along here. Looks pretty cool. But let's find somewhere to sit. So where's Anne? Ah, where'd you go? Ah. Yeah, so the restaurant's right on the river. It's actually quite peaceful here on the river. A bit cool too, because of the wind. So I'll just wait for Anne to get back. Maybe she's just gone to the toilet. So you have got indoor seating if you want to, with the aircon. Of course, there's the name of the place. But we're going to sit outdoors and actually order some food. So the menu is in Thai. So unless you can read Thai, you're going to have a bit of fun. Doesn't look like they have an English option, but the prices are a bit on the um, medium to up market, but I guess it's because we're on the river. When you're looking at stuff, for those that can read Thai, then you've got the prices here and what you can order. So it's opened 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. by the looks of it. Got your coffees as well. Green teas. Ooh, sodas and mocktails. And you've also got your whiskies and beers as well and mixers. So some appetizers. Oh, here you go, this is in English. This section here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna order. Yeah, so you got your local fishermen out there just catching fish and enjoying the day. As well as across the um, opposite the cafe here. You've also got a range of people just chilling out on the water there, fishing. That looks like quite a relaxing little day here on a Sunday. So yes, yeah, so we got some fish here. Bit of sauce on the side. Also got the um, prawns with some tamarind sauce. A bit of salad it seems like on the side there. But we're gonna enjoy this here. So I tried the fish, it's actually quite nice especially with the um, sauce here on the side. Very tasty. The prawns are nice and I love this sort of deep fry tofu here with the tamarind sauce. It's very nice. What do you think, my dear? Is it nice? Yeah. Uh. Yes, so I'm gonna enjoy this. The fish is nice here with the sauce. The prawn's okay, but it's just got this weird taste to it. I can still eat it, but it um, tastes a little bit odd with the tamarind sauce. Usually I like tamarind sauce on things, but Anne seems to be enjoying the prawns, but maybe it's just the way it's cooked that it's not really for me. But overall, not too bad. I'm enjoying the vibe at this place. Anne was apparently telling me in the Chapia River, am I pronouncing that right? They go, you can find freaking huge stingrays in this thing, um, this place, this river, which I didn't think, but yeah, 
quite interesting actually apparently it was on the news and everything but they do find them in this river and yeah i just wouldn't thought it looks more fresh water to me but apparently there is some salt water here is it salt water as well it's not a mixture of salt water and fresh no. is it no just salt water normal normal fresh water okay yeah sorry <laughs> it seems like it's fresh water here but you know, I just didn't think you'd find stingrays in a freshwater sort of environment. And maybe they're not the type of stingrays that I'm thinking of, like in Australia. But yeah, interesting actually, the type of things you can find in this river. Though I do have a passion. I do want to buy some fishing gear and try fishing in the Mekong to see what I can actually catch in there. That'll be a bit of fun. So I used to love fishing in Australia. Have any of you guys out here um, tried fishing in the local rivers or tried fishing in places like the Mekong? And if so, what sort of fish have you actually caught there? Just out of curiosity. Or what sort of fishing gear do you use? Because when I'm thinking of buying fishing gear, I'm not sure what sort of gear to buy to fish in the Mekong, whether I should buy stuff that floats to the surface, whether I should buy sinkers that float to the bottom, or um, should I be using lure or bait? And if bait, what type of bait or what type of lures? Does anyone out there have any idea about the best fishing gear for fishing on places like the Mekong and local Thai rivers? I always say I'm gonna show everything. Though the restaurant there's nice and clean. Look at the steps up along here, they're bloody filthy. 